Hello guys, the Elf, Elfnet Designs, and what you're looking at here is a Motorola Starpoint microwave transceiver. Uh, we have the transmitter and the receiver deck. You can see it's all of its stuff. And we're going to have the transmitter section up top here. Of course, none of this is hooked up right now. Um, I've had this unit for a little while. And I just recently today came into about 10 more of these sets with the Starplexing uh, modem trays. This is just one set. I have a spare uh, uh, shelf there for modems. Um, the ones I came across today are on a 200 foot tower that was donated to us and we're going to be taking it down it's got some db 420s on it and some vhf variants it's got a uh, low band trombone antenna and about six dishes on it for this stuff the equipment in the building you know aside from all these i've got a quarter kilowatt vhf tube driven final uh some other uh, PA decks for UHF, some 100 watt stuff, some old, it's all older stuff, it's nothing new. But the stuff was working when the power was shut off, and um, you know, as I get it back, as I get it back here over the next few weeks, months, or whatever, we'll be doing videos on them. Um, the big VHF high band final quarter KW 250 watts. Um, yeah, I'm interested. Uh, the UHF stuff definitely, and these these things are neat. They pull out drawers, pull out so you can service them. I don't have any of it unscrewed, but I'll remedy that right now. Uh, okay, with the help of tool, we are in. This is the receiver drawer, and it's got it. Yeah, fall off, fucker. Uh, there's our frequency, 21 to 2300 megahertz. Uh, yes, this is a 2.1, 2.2, whatever. Something in that area. Uh, radio, 2.3 maybe, not sure. Well, somebody wrote it on there, so it must be right. It's got all the little diagrams, everything has. Notch filters, mixers. Shotkey diodes. <laughs> I believe all this is synthesized, you know, to a point. Um, this is the same error era radio as that uh, Flexor thing that I had here, GMRS, and. Uh, this is a priority licensed system, I believe. 2.3 is a licensed system. Here's the transmitter section. There's a, a crystal of sort. I'm not sure if that's the crystal or just a crystal. I don't think it... I'm not sure how it... It's an IF amp, PLL discriminator crystal y1 crystal y1 this here must be the uh that crystal must be the one that, that we like not sure about that one though four megahertz of course it's mixing and doing magic to make things happen um yeah everything you would expect for high frequency you know, sma connectors that one's loose That's our transmitter. We have our uh, multi-mode uh, deal off. Power receiver, receiver transmitter readings. Alarm circuits. This one has its di diagram as well. This one, this one, this one. One, that one, that one. <laughs> Cavity oscillator. 
1.457 or 1.9 gigahertz. Maybe this is a 1.9 gigahertz. I don't know. It is checked for NSWO 48 channels. So this is, I don't know. Don't know too much about it. I do have the manual on this stuff. It was in the building where this came from. Um, my idea, I wonder if I can get licensed on this. Probably shouldn't be too hard to file it or get with a coordinator, figure it out. And uh, put this in use and be able to link my systems together with this I could link them over IP but you know, if the IP fails you know I'm kind of bone there modems got seven modems in now the ones that I have landed in my lap I have to go pick them up or have all these filled in multiple uh, multiple drawers in a telco rack with multiples of these and of course all the line all the dishes yeah, I'm thinking maybe I can link do some linking with them little miles at least across town county who knows there it is the star point Motorola microwave system this is one of many that I have now and like it you know with that thing down there comments and all are welcome and I'll see you guys later